Okay, for those that are wondering, um, this video is taken uh, December 26th at around noontime. Um, also, I used a ND uh, 100,000 ND filter. Decided this year if uh, my wife and I were going to buy each other presents. <laughs> we were just going to um, order what we wanted and let the other half uh, actually uh, pay for it. <laughs> yes, and my wife made out like a bandit. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, well, she got something extra that uh, we weren't even... Um, uh, really aware of it was some uh, rewards points um, through my business and it was uh, about $900 worth of uh, credits so I gave it all to my wife and let her use it any way she wanted to and she was very happy to get what she got um, and you know it's kind of for both of us because she does order stuff uh, for both of us the only bad thing I don't like is uh, she does a lot of online stuff, which I got to say she does pick out the best deals, but I still hate the fact that uh, you know, she uses this um, online stuff. And I also want to say uh, on this, uh, when I first set my camera up, um, the oak trees were on, or the sun was at the edge of the oak trees, so I was getting some oak tree leaves um, you know, blocking out part of the sun, so I had to reset my camera, I had to back up, um, and then re-zoom in on, um, on these sunspots, but what was really interesting, you can obviously see there's trees in the way here, uh, tree leaves, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, talk about screwing up right at the beginning, but yeah, it's an interesting thing, in my eyes um, also too people might be wondering why I haven't put out a lot of videos I was working on trying to make a documentary but let me tell you folks I got so much uh, footage it's taken me months just to go through a couple of years and I've got like two more years to go through uh, well, one more year, actually, but, uh, yeah, it, it can get very time-consuming going through the videos, picking out what you want, and, you know, trying to write them down, and kind of make some kind of uh, organization to all my observations that I've been doing for five years, but I found some very, very interesting stuff in my footage that, um, there's, there's no way that I can put a documentary together to where somebody will sit through the whole thing and watch the entire video um, because what they do, like most people, they, they lose their interest and then they just move on and, you know, basically the whole video goes half pretty much unseen. And I've seen that with some of my other videos where I have even broken them down into pieces and parts and still people don't see because they don't watch um, for instance my uh, flat earth in search of the true horizon I think some people watched the first part maybe watched some of the second part and then moved right on to this uh, part six where I had some of the best footage of uh, the Crystal River power plant north of me um, some of the best pictures, I should say, because I was taking pictures of them at 30 inches off the water and also at about four inches off the water. Uh, yeah, folks, uh, I shouldn't have been able to see anything. But again, on here, there was even sunspots that uh, weren't really all that visible until I zoomed in on them. And that's why I wanted to put the zoomed in version up here, too, um, so people could see 
that I did miss some, um, especially when I kind of like do a little circle around. I didn't even see them myself. Um, you know, and I, and I think it's because I'm looking at it through a small screen. I wish I had uh, the knowledge and technology to uh, be able to have a little laptop or, you know, a little tablet or something where I could throw the image on there and then I could see a lot better and be able to zoom in on these uh, uh, other spots or even when I'm out filming over the water. I've got the sun glaring at me off the water into my eyes and I can't even hardly see the viewing screen. <laughs> uh, so a lot of times, you know, you know, somebody says put some sunglasses on. Well, once you put sunglasses on, I can't even see the screen at all. It just goes dark. Um, so the sun, wearing sunglasses just doesn't work. Um, but, you know, I'm just blabbermouthing here. <laughs> uh, just trying to eat up some time to let people watch this. But it was interesting too, the clouds coming over. Um, I think on some of these uh, close-up zooms, I could have done a little more, uh, uh, just tweaked the focus just a tad bit. Um, but again, you know, there's distortion. There's There seems to always be some kind of distortion um, in observations. Um, unless you're, you know, viewing or observing something up close, but when you're zooming in on something far off distance, um, it really is um, hard to get all of these because right, even up here, there's a couple of little speckles. So I'm not going to point them out. I'm not going to stick arrows all over the video. I'm sure if you see them, you see them. If you don't, you don't. But this major cluster right here does kind of remind me of some kind of a, a star cluster. And, you know, I'm always wondering if these aren't some uh, stars that we are seeing. And science has just called them sunspots, saying that they're stuck to the sun. Uh, so what real proof do we have of that? They, they say trust the science, but ignore your own observations, your own visual proofs on something. Um, and, and you know what? I'm surprised that a lot of people actually do that. They just accept what science says without ever questioning them. And that's where we've gotten ourselves into big problems, if you ask me, especially with what's going on today in the world oh they say to do it you must do it right you got to roll that sleeve up and get jabbed well I hate to tell them but uh, I think they're lying about all their well yeah they're lying about all the numbers they're saying so many people did this, so many people did that, but I think that's all lies. Um, and it's more or less to coerce you into um, complying to their tyrannical orders. And again, that, that is another reason why I haven't been putting out many videos is because of this crap that just continues on and continues on. And the more people that do comply, the more power you give them and the less power you give to your fellow brothers and sisters. I'm wondering myself when people are going to actually take a stand. And I don't mean a violent stand um, at this point. But there's going to come a time where, if you ask me in my opinion, there's going to be no way around it. No way. I've got family members that are for it, that have taken two. Um... Some say they ain't going to take three. 
but they're compliant. They already believe everything on the media. And whether you're left wing or right wing, I still say both sides are working for the same boss. Put it to you that way. And if you ask me, there's somebody behind even that scene. There's somebody running the big round table and uh, setting the whole world up to fail. When do we use force ourselves? Is when they start using force back at us. I mean, real force is when we need to take our stand and uh, double up on them. We have numbers. We have big numbers. And don't forget, all of those guys that are in the military, they are us. And they forget that. These big tyrants forget that. Yes, there's going to be some that comply. And then there's going to be those that have intelligence. Um, and they shouldn't even say intelligence. How about common sense? To know that this is totally wrong. It's not right. It goes against all our rights, our constitutional rights, our God-given rights. And our God-given rights are more powerful than any man-made right. Because man doesn't give you the right to do shit. You have the right as a human being to do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody, stealing anybody's property, damaging anybody's property. You should be free to do whatever you like. But unfortunately, in this time and age, we have so many laws, bylaws, codes, ordinances, and all of this bull crap that keeps us in check. Well, when are you going to get tired of being kept in check, folks? Um, we do need to eventually stand up for ourselves. And... Yeah, I mean, I, I agree that if we uh, we start using violence, um, it's going to justify them to use violence against us. So we need to stand fast. And when the violence becomes so hard against us, that's when we, the people of the world, not just of the United States, of the world, need to stand up, back each other, and defeat these evil tyrants from getting any more of a foothold on humanity. Again, we have God-given rights that are more powerful. And whether you believe in God or not, then you have common sense freedoms that you should look at. And no matter what your beliefs are, we should still all band together. And take our freedoms back, our rights back, and our countries back worldwide. So that's really all I have to say today. Um, hope you enjoyed the longer version. Um, or the longer observation, I guess I should say. So again, uh, come New Year, I will be starting to put out smaller chunks of videos with observational proofs, um, observable proofs, visual proofs, and you as the viewer can decide for yourself because I'm not going to take any side. I'm just going to present my evidence and let you as the viewer decide what you see. All right. Thanks for watching.